Well, what the heck. I decided that since I showed the skew plane, I might as well show the plow plane as well. After I cut the angle off of these boards, this angled piece right here, I cut this edge at the same degrees, which was uh, 15 if I remember correctly. So now I have a 90 degree corner. I knew that corner would be important so that I can do the next operation, and that is to use the beating plane or actually the plow plane with the beading cutter. So now I can guide this, this and this surface is 90 degrees. So this has a quarter inch beading bit in it. And I know many of you are probably thinking, oh gosh, you could do that in a router, in a router table and be done with it. You're right, you could. But this takes about 20 passes. And if you like hand work, the quietness of it, it's time well spent. When my daughter was much younger than she is now, she would be down in the shop with me. And this reminds me, you take paper bags, which you know how those are coming right now. And on those paper bags, we would put a face, you know, eyes and a nose and a mouth. And she'd take a bottle of glue and she'd do all kinds of little creative things made out of shavings. I always remember that. That was one of the fun, one of the many fun things that Jennifer and I did. As you can see, this cuts nicely. It's funny, some pieces are a little more stringy, like this particular piece of basswood is pretty stringy, but after all the difficulties I had with the first plow plane I got in the depth stop, I'm very happy to report that the depth stop holds, and there you go. So there's another another bead. This little bit of uh, tear out in here, a little piece of sandpaper, maybe a uh, tadpole sander to get in there and that's going to be the profile of this particular picture frame so there you have it veritas small bead plane or small plow plane with a quarter inch beading cutter